time. Uh, could we have a roll call, please? Chair Schifrin? Here. Vice Chair Spellman? Here. Commissioner Conway? Here. Dawson? Here. Greenberg? I'll note Greenberg absent. I'm not sure chair with or without notification. I'll check in with Tess upon her return. Commissioner Maxwell? Here. Commissioner Nielsen? I will do the same for Commissioner Nielsen, Chair. Okay, hey, thank you. We'll move on to any statements of disqualification. Uh, we'll then move to oral communications, the time for uh, anyone to speak about an item not on our agenda, but appropriately before us for up to three minutes. Is there anybody here for oral communication? Do you have a raised hand here? Somebody's raised their hand. Um, could you please identify yourself and you'll have up to three minutes. Hello, I am Alan Spidel, speaking on behalf of dozens of my Seabright neighbors. At the last commission meeting, we finished the brief discussion of the status of 418 Pennsylvania in the wee hours. I cut my response then short and would like to amplify it today. That night, Commissioner Spellman asked if it makes any sense to have this two-step process. First, you get the permit for your multi-unit project with plans showing garages. Then you build the project with the garages. Then you apply for a new permit to turn some of these garages into ADUs. And then you tear into those garages and remodel them into living units. And this is a reasonable question, and it explains why the planning department came up with this policy. But now, thankfully, they are looking for some state guidance on the matter, and for good reason. Consider this other two-step process, which is equally illogical if we accept this department policy. First, you apply for your multi-unit project with the garages specified by the zoning code, an objective standard that you need to meet. You then carry this project through the Planning Commission hearing and maybe through the City Council hearing to get approval. All that is step one. Then step two, after the hearings, these hurdles have been dealt with, you submit a simple plan revision and turn some of these garages into studios or one-bedroom units, arbitrarily calling them ADUs. Does that make any sense either? If this was what the state wanted, why didn't they write the law that way? They could have eliminated some portion of the off-street parking requirement right away, allowed the project to have some of the units be designated as ADUs, and most importantly, require that these ADUs not, not be counted against the general plan's density limit for the property. They could have written the law to accomplish this and thus avoid this other two-step maneuver if that were their intent, but they did not. The state laws have shredded so much of our local planning process. I'm sorry, but are your, did the clerk say your three minutes are up? I'm sorry, I thought I had three. Thank you. Um, I'm hoping that you will uh, consider uh, the situation in future planning commission hearings. Thank you very much. Okay, I didn't want to cut him short. I did. That was a 30-second reminder, Chair, and the time was accurate as he ended. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Welcome, Commissioner Greenberg. Uh, that was oral communications. I don't see anybody else listed as a participant, so uh, are there any, if, I assume there are no more oral communications. So that now is correct, move. I'm sorry? That is correct. Okay, thank you. I'll now move to public hearings. Um, Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'll move to the approval of the minutes. Uh, it's sort of been a, somewhat embarrassing uh, that we have to reapprove minutes that we approved last time because uh, um, they were not accurate. I want to thank staff for going back and uh, noticing the error. Are there any uh, questions on the minutes? Commissioner Dawson, did you raise your hand to say something? No, I'm sorry. I didn't have a question. I just wanted to move with the suggested um, 
corrections by staff move for approval. Is there a second? I second. I'll take it. Uh, Commissioner Greenberg seconded it. I'm not sure, Commissioner Maxwell, you can vote on this because I don't think you were there. I was. Uh, this wasn't the original. I was at. Ah, okay. Great. Well, you, Commissioner Greenberg. It's fine. Greenberg. Gr Miriam. Okay, Miriam. Okay, but you definitely vote. Is there any discussion? So, can we have a roll call to approve the corrective minutes of October 21st, 2021? Commissioner Conway? Aye. Commissioner Dawson? Aye. Greenberg? Aye. Maxwell? Aye. Nielsen? Chair Schifrin? Aye. Hellman? Aye. Okay, it passes unanimously. Uh, we move now to public hearings. Um, this is the public hearing on 109 Seabright Avenue and an appeal of the zoning administrator's administrative approval of a minor variation to a coastal permit design permit and uh, variance. I understand that this uh, there's been a request to continue this to our December 2nd meeting. Is there anything that staff would like to add before the commission takes action? Uh, no, we wouldn't. It's, it's all in the um, memo that we attached to your packet. So would anybody like to move to continue this item to our December 2nd meeting, to continue the public hearing to our December 2nd meeting? Yeah, I'll move to uh, move this agenda item to the December 2nd meeting. There's been a motion and a second. Can we have a roll call? Is there any discussion? Seeing none, can we have a roll call vote, please? Commissioner Conway? Aye. Commissioner Dawson? Aye. Greenberg? Aye. Maxwell? Aye. Different? Aye. Selman? Aye. It passes unanimously. Thank you very much. Do we have any information items from staff or anybody else? No, we don't. Okay, thank you. So we move to subcommittee advisory body oral reports. I can report that the housing subcommittee is scheduled to meet tomorrow. So hopefully there'll be a report at our next at our next meeting. Anybody else? Are there any, any items we, do we, we refer to future agendas? Yes, sure. I do have one announcement related to what you were just talking about, um, the housing subcommittee meeting. So that would have to do with the small units ordinance. Um, so that um, has been continued to a date uncertain as of now. And um, it will have to be re-noticed when it comes back formally to the Planning Commission. Okay, thank you for that clarification. Is there any other business? Thank you all very much. Uh, nice short meeting. Uh, we are adjourned. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.